Yo, what up? Welcome to Mobox and No Problem. I'm Jose Marais Jr. In today's video, we'll be going over everything to know about the upcoming fight between Chocolatito versus Martinez. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the fight poster. Well, before I get into the fight poster, let's get one thing out of the way first. This fight isn't the trilogy match that was originally scheduled and boxing fans were hoping to see between Chocolatito and Estrada, the latter of which had to drop out due to COVID-19 symptoms. But Chocolatito versus Martinez is still an excellent and intriguing new matchup for us boxing fans. The fight will be promoted by Matchroom with Croak Promotion from Thicken Promotions and Canelo Promotions. It will stream with The Zone on Saturday, March 5th. Uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez will be making his return to the ring after a 12-month layoff, not having fought since March 13, 2021. That was in a fight that he lost by split decision to Juan Francisco Estrada. Julio Cesar Martinez, on their hand, will make his re return after a four-month layoff, and he was going to be moving up in weight. Martinez, having last fought in November 19, 2021, in a winning effort against McWilliams Arroyo, the fight will be contested at the super flyweight limit of 115 pounds. The main undercard fights for the event start at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Expect Cholatito versus Martinez to make the ring walks around 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. As for the fight location, they'll be out of the Pechanga Arena in San Diego, California, making this a neutral fight. Now let's go on to the tell of the tape. Looking at the overall records, Gonzalez has had 53 bouts with a record of 50 and 3 with 41 knockouts. Martinez has 19 bouts and has a record of 18 and 1 with 14 knockouts. As for the power department, Gonzalez has the edge here, ever so slightly though. 77% KO ratio to Martinez, 74% KO ratio. As far as the physical attributes, Martinez has the edge in height by 1 inch and the reach for both fighters is even. As for fighting stance, both fighters fight out of the orthodox stance. With regards to their age, Gonzalez is older by seven and a half years. Gonzalez is 34 years old, while Martinez is 27 years old. Gonzalez made his debut back in 2005 and has stacked up 271 pro rounds, while Martinez debuted back in 2015 and has accumulated 89 pro rounds. By the numbers, without a doubt, Gonzalez has the edge and experience here. Now let's move on to the rankings. Looking at box rec, Gonzalez is ranked at number two, while Martinez has not made the cut. And this is due to, as I mentioned earlier, Martinez making his debut at this weight. For what it's worth, Martinez was regarded as the number three guy by box rec in his previous division. Now if we move on to the ring um, ratings, Gonzalez here is again number two, and Martinez is not listed in this division as of today. And to finish off, we will go over now the four main organizational bodies, where Gonzalez is ranked number two by the WBC and number one by the WBA. Again, Martinez, being new to the division, is unranked. Let's switch gears and go over the betting odds. And here, Gonzalez is slight favorite at minus 140, meaning you have to bet $140 to make a $100 profit, while Martinez is a plus 125 slight underdog, meaning that every $100 that you bet, you will make a $125 profit. If you fancy the draw, you can make a lot of money as the odds are at plus 2,000. Overall, Gonzalez's chance of winning is 61.42%, while Martinez has a 38.58% chance of winning. And now to finish with my prediction, this was a very tough fight to pick. I kept flip-flopping between Chocolatito or Martinez winning, but finally decided to stick with Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez winning by unanimous decision. So most of servers that are picking against Chocolatito are citing his age as 34 years is pretty old for the lower weight classes. And Martinez, being younger, is entering to his prime years. But Chocolatito's age is actually the reason I am picking him here to win. The experience is vastly greater, and he has been in, in the ring with all the big names in this division already. I am banking on Chocolatito still having one or two big fights left in his tank and bringing his A game here to win what will truly be a 50-50 fight. And there you have it. You now have officially learned everything there is to know about the upcoming fight between Chocolatito versus Martinez. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and also please subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
Until next time, remember, mo boxing is no problem. Peace.